Those clever people at Cochlear are harnessing a new channel of Australian research for clues on how to make even smarter hearing devices. A team of Sydney scientists are using cutting-edge technology to peer inside patients' brains. The cochlear implant is a 30-year-old Australian success story which continues to change the lives of people with hearing loss, including three-year-old Annabelle Keckman. It's been amazing. Yeah, in one year, a lot's changed. These images are not only colourful, they're giving scientists a bird's eye view of what's happening inside the brain. For the first time, we'll be able to actually see how the brain is processing information that's being provided through the cochlear implant. This machine was specially designed for those with cochlear implants to delicately measure the brain's electric current, which produces a magnetic field. It's like trying to measure the footsteps of an ant at a rock concert. This shows the brain activity of a 12-year-old girl listening to words. The magnetic field flares up on the right side of her brain. There's also activity in the left hemisphere which governs language. One of the questions we want to answer here is why is early intervention with a cochlear implant more effective than later intervention? Scientists will use the information from the brain to help develop more sophisticated hearing technologies and to provide better rehabilitation programs for cochlear implant recipients. The more we understand what's happening centrally, the more we'll be able to improve the, uh, what's happening at the periphery. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.